Right now, as home prices remain high, the steps that Habitat for Humanity is using to create more affordable homes in Sun Prairie. Plus, a 19-year-old in police custody facing multiple charges after running a rented truck into a security barrier, barrier near the White House. And negotiations continue on a possible deal to raise the nation's debt ceiling as the deadline creeps closer. That's all coming up on News 3 Now at 10. Habitat for Humanity and the city of Sun Prairie helping make housing a bit more affordable for families. Well, two Sun Prairie families, in fact, are now homeowners thanks to the nonprofit. And as our Braden Ross learned, they'll soon be joined by many more. Braden? Yeah, their new homes are in Habitat's largest development in the state, set to have 48 Habitat for Humanity homes by the time it's finished. For its new its residents, it's a dream come true. It's going to be my living room. For Hussam Lesheb, this day has been a long time coming. Getting, getting a house is something amazing, so, and that's it's been always a dream. He came to the U.S. from Algeria nine years ago, and his wife followed a few years later. They've dreamt of owning a house for years, and now, thanks to Habitat for Humanity, they do. It's a big of a deal because, you know, owning a house, it's... It's an investment for the future. Their new home is in Sun Prairie, in Habitat's largest development in the state. Sun Prairie's just been a great partner when it comes to affordable housing. When it's finished, the 62-acre Town Hall Crossing community will have 118 single-family homes, 40% of them going to Habitat families. Mayor Paul Esser says it's part of the city's commitment to making living in Sun Prairie a little more accessible. We're building a lot of housing in Sun Prairie, but a lot of that housing that's being built is pretty high income housing, so it's not available to everybody. Esser says habitat houses are about more than just giving families a place to live, but also thrive. They'll put roots down in the community, and we know that when children are in a stable housing setting, they do better in school, so this is a win all the way around. That's what habitat is really trying to do is give these children and these families uh, a, a stable place to study, to come back to after work and not have to worry about what's going on next door or when their lease is going to expire and where do they go next. For Lashab, that rings true. A very decent, you know, backyard that my daughter can play, uh, doing barbecue, inviting some friends and families. Um, it's going to be a great... Now, the next round of applications for Habitat in Dane County is coming up this fall. You can find all the information on how to apply or support on their website at HabitatDane.org. Two people are displaced after a house fire in Madison this afternoon. It happened on the 5400 block of Trempolo Trail. Madison Fire was contacted after someone reported seeing smoke coming out of their house by the garage. Crews were able to put out the fire and no one was injured. The house had major damage and the cause of the fire is under investigation. For the first time in two years, an effort to transform the Alliant Energy Center is being revisited. A committee plans to work toward upgrading the spaces that house concerts, shows, and other major events in Madison. The redevelopment committee's goals were put on hold back in 2021 due to COVID. Early discussions about the project included possible improvements to all parts of the property, including the Coliseum. It just underscores the, you know, the beauty of this location. There are surrounding neighbor, neighborhoods um, that are really critical to what's going on here as well. And so one thing we hope to do, or would, I would like to see is, you know, more open space, you know, for nearby residents so that they can enjoy the space as well. The committee plans to meet bi-monthly and we're told that there will be more set uh, architectural plans in 2025. Let's turn now to your first one forecast with Julian C. Ryan. Well, we're still waiting to see how much longer we're going to have this air quality advisory in effect for Wisconsin. It's going to be until about 11 p.m., but we could potentially see this be an issue once again heading into our Wednesdays. One thing to watch for as we are still dealing with wildfire smoke from the Canadian fires that have been plaguing much of the upper Midwest over the last several days. But outside of that, we are looking for things to stay rather mild, but also get comfortable as we get into the rest of tonight. Right now it's quiet, but it's 63 degrees. We're going to continue to fall into those 50s as we head into the overnight hours into our early Wednesday morning. Now, wind speeds themselves are going to stay calm, but they will pick up as we head into tomorrow. Tonight we're looking for a low of 55 degrees at Madison, 56 in Janesville, and about 59 degrees for Platteville. But as we slide for tomorrow, Tomorrow, temperatures are also going to stay rather cool. We're looking at 66 degrees for us here in Madison, 70
71 for Janesville and 73 for Platteville. Now take note, areas that are closer to Lake Michigan are going to be even cooler as they're holding into the 50s throughout the course of the day. For us here in Madison, we're going to get a nice stretch of that lake breeze, which will keep us in the middle 60s, but areas just to the south and southwest are going to be cooler, but still into the milder side with the lower 70s because the winds are just not going to be impacting them as much as it will for us. But that's just for tomorrow. We're also looking for another brief period heading into our Thursday. But we're going to be timing out the when we're going to see the warmer temperatures in a few moments. Until then, over to you. Julian, thank you. The man accused of fatally killing a person in a hit and run on Madison's northeast side Saturday night was in court this afternoon. Anthony Moore charged with one count of homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle and another charge of hit and run involving death. In a criminal complaint, Moore said he never hit the brakes before striking and killing the pedestrian. Cash bond set at $100,000. If posted, Moore will be subject to remote alcohol monitoring and random drug testing as conditions of his bail. The victim who was killed in the incident Saturday night was also identified today as 40-year-old Nicole McDougall of Madison. The death remains under investigation. The Dane County Medical Examiner's Office has identified the person who was shot and killed early Sunday on Madison's east side. 32-year-old Raheem Blue of Madison pronounced dead at a local hospital. Police say Blue was found with gunshot wounds at Lush in the 3700 block of East Washington. A bystander reported seeing a large group of people near the area and heard later that an argument had broken out. Police have not announced any arrests in connection with that shooting. The man charged with fatally shooting another man outside a bar in Madison earlier this month has been bound over for trial. 23-year-old Caleb DiMaggio is charged with one count of first degree intentional homicide in the May 5th shooting outside the Badger Tavern. During a preliminary hearing today, the court found probable cause that DiMaggio committed a felony and assigned the case to a judge. Online records do not list a future court date yet. A Madison man is arrested after a series of copper thefts from construction sites in the city. Brad Wells was arrested last Wednesday when police allegedly caught him holding a spool of copper wire. When confronted, Wells reportedly told officers he had found the copper wire abandoned by a dumpster and that he had never been to the area. Online court records show Wells faces 13 charges, five felonies, and eight misdemeanors, ranging from burglary to bail jumping. The handler of a Monroe County Sheriff's Office canine who died after suffering a heat-related injury earlier this month has resigned from the agency. Canine Colt died on May 15th after suffering the unspecified injury May 10th. He'd been with the Sheriff's Office since 2018. The detective, who was Colt's handler, was previously put on administrative leave. The Sheriff's Office has opened an investigation into the dog's death. New information about the U-Haul truck crash near the White House. The driver is in custody and facing multiple charges. Well, we now know that crash is being investigated as a potentially intentional incident. Jen Sullivan has a closer look at why those new details are painting a disturbing image of the suspect's intentions. Disturbing new details surfacing about this crash. About 200 yards away from the White House. Monday night, a driver ramming a U-Haul truck into a security barrier twice. That's a major threat, and we have to assume that the back of that truck was full of explosives. Luckily, it wasn't. U.S. Park Police released some details about the man behind the wheel. He's been identified as 19-year-old Sai Varshith Kondula, who exited the truck with a Nazi flag on him. According to court documents, the suspect told officers he wanted to kidnap and harm President Joe Biden. Kondula was arrested on several serious charges, including threatening to kill, kidnap, or inflict harm on a president, vice president, or family member. Inside the 26-foot moving truck, investigators did find a black backpack, a notebook, and a roll of duct tape. They did find a notebook of some kind in the truck with a, a lot of writings. It was described to me as rambling. Several roads in the area were closed off, and the nearby Hay Adams Hotel was briefly evacuated. The Secret Service says there were no injuries. President Biden was in D.C. Monday meeting with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy to discuss the debt ceiling. He's relieved that no one was injured last night and grateful to the agents and the law enforcement. Experts say the response was appropriate and effective as Park Police, Secret Service and the FBI are working together to figure out the motive. They're all working on this and they will get to the bottom of it. Jen Sullivan, News 3 Now. The White House has not said whether any security measures were implemented during the incident. Park police say Kendula is also facing charges of assault with a dangerous weapon, reckless operation of a motor vehicle, destruction of federal property, and trespassing. 
White House negotiators arrived on Capitol Hill to resume debt limit talks, but the two sides still appear far apart. The White House is offering to keep government spending at current levels for the next two years, but Republicans want to cut spending even more and keep those lower levels for at least the next six years. The only exception, defense spending, which they want to increase. Based on what Republicans have shown us with their appropriations bills, we are looking at a 30% cut across the board to the remaining domestic programs. Well, this administration is willing to recognize that they are having record spending, record deficits, and record taxes, then we're not going to be able to come together. If a deal is reached, the House must have the bill a full 72 hours before a vote. That provision was a condition of Kevin McCarthy's election as House Speaker. Economists warn that defaulting could result in lowered credit ratings for America, which means everyone will be paying higher interest rates potentially forever. A trial date for the New York criminal case against former President Donald Trump has been set now for March 25th of next year. The announcement came during a brief hearing today. The judge also read Trump an order on what he can and cannot say publicly about the case. Trump appeared remotely via video feed so the judge could communicate with him in open court. The former president spoke only once to say that he did have a copy of the protective order, which limits what he can post on social media. Last month, Trump pleaded not guilty to 34 felony counts of falsifying business records with the intent to conceal illegal conduct connected to his 2016 presidential campaign. Meanwhile, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who many believe is Trump's biggest opponent for the Republican nomination, will announce his 2024 presidential campaign intentions tomorrow night on Twitter. According to a spokesperson for his political team, that announcement will happen during an online conversation with Twitter owner Elon Musk. DeSantis is expected to file the formal paperwork for his candidacy this week and then have a kickoff event in his hometown of Dunedin, Florida, next week. More ahead on News 3 Now at 10, including Julian's complete forecast. But first, there's a brand new attraction opening at Wisconsin Dells just in time for the summer. We'll tell you what separates this water slide from the rest of them. You're watching News 3 Now at 10, winner of the best evening newscast by the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association. Since group started in the 80s, We've been cheering on the true champions of Milwaukee, you and yours. We've been on this path together for 35 plus years. We've had your back from the jump. Let's keep rising together. One call, that's all. We're busy, <laughs> I get it. So Stanton Optical works with your schedule. Buy online, pick up in store, same day, and get a free fitting. I mean, look at my to-do list. Same day eye exam, same day glasses. Two pairs plus eye exam for only $79. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. Find your style with Patriot Lighting and give your home a brighter, updated look. The Kenzie Collection adds style to any living space. Get the Kenzie Ceiling Light for only $39.95 after rebate. Or check out the Ashton Collection and give your home a coordinated theme. Add light to any kitchen, dinner room, or living space with the perfect look. Get these Ashton Wall Lights for just $39.95 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Heart-pounding design, intelligent technology, courageous performance. Discover a new world of possibilities in the Lexus RX. Never lose your edge. Get special offers on select Lexus models. Spring into action and save on stressless seating at the Century House. Now get $400 off all classic power recliners, signature base recliners and ottomans, and cross base recliners and ottomans. And get $400 off most sofas and love seats. Imagine how much you can save building your dream sectional. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Welcome to Too Good to Guess. Can you guess how much two pairs of progressives, a free eye exam, and anti-glare lens upgrade will cost at Stanton Optical? Only $135? Wow. A deal so good, every customer wins. Book your eye exam at Stanton Optical today. Insurance. It isn't the most exciting thing to talk about, but it is incredibly important. Not having enough insurance could prevent you from getting what you deserve after an accident. Call Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. On
on the Jennifer Hudson Show. Jesse Tyler Ferguson is a great sport. Jennifer was like, you know I always win, right? And then she's like, and we're back. I was like, okay. Plus, Love and Death's Lily Ray. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. The CDC says the salmonella outbreak has been linked to Papa Murphy's cookie dough. The products are raw chocolate chip cookie and s'mores bar dough. 18 people in six states now have gotten sick. 12 of the 18 reported eating the Papa Murphy's products. Two people have been hospitalized. The company has temporarily stopped selling their cookie dough now. Consumers should throw out any products they have, even if they have eaten some of it without getting sick. Tens of millions of Americans are expected to travel on Memorial Day weekend. Air travel alone could exceed 2019 travel numbers by more than 5%. And AAA says this Memorial Day weekend could be the busiest at airports since 2005. More than 42 million Americans are expected to travel 50 miles or more from home over the holiday weekend. That is a 7% increase over 2022, according to AAA. As Memorial Day approaches and the prices at the pump continue to go up, you might be thinking about whether you should fly or drive, but experts are saying there might not be much of a difference. According to analyst Patrick DeHaan from Gas Buddy, local prices tend to go up in early May as stations switch over to a more expensive, cleaner burning summer blend of gasoline mandated by the EPA. Experts say it helps cut down on emissions. Gas prices, even though they've gone up, they're still about 85 cents a gallon below what they were a year ago. However, AAA says this year people flying aren't really saving a lot as airfare prices are significantly higher than before. As Memorial Day weekend marks the unofficial start to summer, a new animal is arriving in Noah's Ark just in time for water park season. Chameleon will bring an all new ride experience to America's largest water park. It's the first of its kind in the Dells. The vibrant slide transforms the park's flying gecko attraction and invites guests to ride down on a fully immersive, colorful journey with vivid lights and sounds. This is going to be a great family attraction for family, friends, up to four people in a raft at once. You're going to start going down the tunnel, and as soon as you get in there, you're going to flag a sensor, whole new light show, whole new sound system. You're going to be inundated on all levels. Season pass holders are invited to be among the first to enjoy Noah's Ark for the 45th opening day in its history on Saturday. Noah's Ark will open its gates an hour early at 9 a.m. for an exclusive season pass holder party, complete with a DJ, early ride time, giveaways, and other surprises. We posted a link with more information at channel3000.com. And with the warmer weather, you might be ready to hit the local pools and splash pads. Good news. Some of the splash pads are opening up this weekend. Madison Parks offers three different splash pads around the city. They're located at Cypress, Elver, and Rindall Parks. The splash pads are free to use and open daily from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. But first, a bit of a cool down the next couple of days. Julian's back with your complete forecast. That's right. We might want to wait a little bit for getting splash into pads. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But don't worry, folks. This brief cool down will only be for a couple of days. And then we're going to be jumping right back into some weather where you can get to slash splash pads and for the uh, pools in itself. But taking a look at our weather headlines, this is what we have for us. We're looking at air quality concerns throughout the rest of this evening heading into the overnight hours but then we're going to be seeing 60s return for Wednesday and Thursday and then afterwards we will start to slowly start to warm back up 70s for Friday and then 80s heading into our Memorial Day weekend before we get more into the forecast we're going to go ahead and just give a quick announcement for Sherry Rain who has this beautiful shot for our umbrella contest she is our winner for today over at Lake Monona where we can see a bit of that hazy sunset for us over uh, Lake Monona now if you you want to have any opportunity to be able to win your own very own first worn weather umbrella the contest goes through friday and all you have to do is submit your photo at first worn at wictv.com or use the first worn weather app now back to the forecast we do have an air quality advisory in effect until 11 p.m for tonight for all of wisconsin as we're still dealing with particular matter from those wildfire smokes uh, coming in from the wildfires in Canada. Now, as we take a look for tonight in terms of conditions, well, clear skies is what we're really going to be expecting, but overnight, partly cloudy skies will build for us here in Madison as temperatures hold into the middle 50s. For tomorrow, it's going to be a completely different story for us outside of what it has been for today and even yesterday. We're looking for highs in the mid 60s for around Madison, but take note to the southwest, we're going to be dealing with a bit more milder temperatures into the lower 70s from Prairie to Sheena Platteville, but for Janesville around 71 and the further 
or the closer you are to Lake Michigan, this is where you're going to be expecting to see temperatures into the 50s heading into tomorrow. So what's bringing in that cooler air? Well, it's that backdoor cold front. The northeasterly uh, winds are going to be shifting, bringing in the cooler air off of Lake Michigan throughout southern Wisconsin. So by the time we get into our lunchtime hour and the rest of our afternoon, temperatures are going to stay within the middle 60s throughout much of southern Wisconsin, especially around Madison. The only areas which won't be truly as impacted as the areas to the east is mainly the southwest, which will be holding into those 70s. As we get into the rest of our Wednesday, though, Good news is that we're staying rather quiet. Clouds will start to break up just a bit. We're not expecting much in terms of precipitation, but if we do see any kind of small drizzles, mainly going to be to the west. Otherwise, it's not going to be a whole lot of activity to close things out for us going into our Wednesday or even Thursday of this week. So our three things we'll need to know is that we're staying dry. We're going to be cool throughout the next several days, and then the 80s will return by the time we get into Memorial Day weekend. And we're going to hold that warmth into next week. But we're staying genuinely really dry heading into this weekend. But a quick look at Memorial Day weekend in itself. Sunday, 81, and for the holiday, 84 degrees. And again, we're going to stay rather dry. So it's going to be perfect to get into the splash pads, the pools, or if you are going to be hitting the lakes for this weekend. Otherwise, we're going to be seeing a bit of some change, not necessarily in temperatures, though it's staying on the warmer trend. We could potentially start to see some thunderstorms or shower chances heading in from Tuesday of next week through about Friday. We are looking for a bit of instability, but until then, we're looking for a pretty smooth sailing forecast. And coming up in sports, the Brewers used the long ball to get things started at AmFam Field. The big inning that helped them even their series is next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Oh, let me help you with that. No, I'm good, man. Thanks. Are you sure? Everyone can use a little help. Volkswagen Tiguan with Front Assist. Visit your Volkswagen dealer this Memorial Day for 1.9% APR financing for 36 months on a new 2023 Tiguan or Taos. As a veteran of our country's armed services, you have already made the ultimate sacrifice. Why should you have to continue to do that? Through no fault of your own, you may be experiencing hardships, such as the inability to pay rent, utilities, or receive other life-sustaining services. And once again, you're called upon by your family to serve and protect. We want you to know we are here to support you. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin, with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. It's not easy to ask for a hand up, but we are clear in our mission. No Wisconsin veteran should ever have to face homelessness or lose heat, power, or water again. 833 W-I-S-V-R-A-P. That's 833-947-8727. This is how legends are 2024 made. Chevy Silverado HD with Duramax Diesel. And a Chevy Silverado with powerful Turbomax engine. No matter what route you take, there's a Chevy truck to get you there. Find new roads. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 LT Turbo Max pickups or current Chevy owners get 5250 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Thank you so much for picking up. When you really desperately need to talk to your insurance company, when you're having one of the worst days of your life, what do people do at a time like this? Right? Sometimes you just want to talk to someone, a person, not a robot or a recording or an app. Oh, sure, we have all that stuff. By Friday. But on a day like that. Just like that? That phone line can end up feeling like a lifeline. Thank you so much for listening. At a time like that, you want a company like West Bend. Because the worst brings out our best. You've got this. Whatever it is, you're ready for it. Your newly purchased defenses, top of the line. Your backup, backing up. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with Access Checking. It's maintenance fee free with no minimum balance requirements. So if your new house still has some old tenants, we'll make sure your checking account won't be giving you any surprises. You've got this with Associated Bank. 
needed two extra seats. I know, Uncle Dane and his giant beard. The Volkswagen Atlas with best-in-class third-row legroom. Get 3.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Atlas Family SE Tech with four motion models. Limited inventory available. Making it to the Junior College World Series is nothing new for Madison College. This year's trip is the program's fifth straight. But unlike last year's World Series squad, this team is brand new. 25 out of the 30 guys have never been there. And that's the challenge facing Mike Davenport, preparing a group of freshmen for the big stage. But after closing the season with 12 straight wins, his freshmen aren't playing like freshmen anymore. Freshmen are told that when you walk in here, we need you to be sophomores by tournament time. So let's try to learn as much as we can so we don't have to wait till next fall to figure out the things that we need to know when it really matters this year. It's going to be a little bit different than last year. We're all going to kind of be big eyed on the first day, looking at all those new teams, you know, new stadium, all that good stuff. But hopefully we can just play our game and compete at our highest level. Brewers looking to even their series with the Astros. No score in the third. Joey Weimer makes the ball go wee in the tune of a solo shot. His fifth of the year puts the crew up 1-0. Then they'd blow this one open in the eighth. The hometown kid, Owen Miller, tattoos a two-run bomb to the second deck. Brewers scored four in the eighth, go on to win 6-0 the final. Today was day two of the voluntary OTAs for the Packers, and even though the guys are just in shorts instead of pads, getting to this phase in the offseason means training camp is almost right around the corner. During this phase, there's still a lot of installs, so the new guys can learn the system, which is why most of the vets don't attend. Jordan Love, though, was there, and even though it's his first year as a starting QB, Matt LaFleur doesn't view him as one of the new guys. Not like he's a true rookie, um, so he's seen he's seen a decent amount, especially the, being able to, you know, get in the majority of the snaps this time of the year, uh, the last couple of years. So um, we're not necessarily coddling him in in any sense of the word of that. Uh, just in terms of we're we're just installing our plays and whatever the defense presents. I mean, he's got to react. Athlon Sports released their preseason All Big Ten teams, and a couple of Badgers found themselves on the All Conference squads for the upcoming season. Braylon Allen was the lone Wisconsin representative on the first team, while Chimray DK, Jack Nelson, and Mumajong Mega were all second teamers. Badgers kick off their season in 102 days when they host Buffalo. And the Celtics kept their season alive, winning game four against the Heat in the Eastern Conference Finals. Miami still leads the series, though, 3-1. to one. We're back after this. This may look like an action adventure movie, but it's a Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select road trims. These epic offers won't last forever. Get up to 50% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals, like this recliner, free when you purchase the reclining sofa, or these incredible beds, both at our lowest price ever, or this beefy recliner marked way down. How about a Lazy Boy recliner as low as $3.75? Or $4.99 gets you a Sealy Posturepedic mattress. Plus, we'll throw in a seven-piece bedding bundle free, up to 50% off at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Do not miss this one. Let's go! Yeah. Uh, seat belts? Nah, don't worry about it. Yeah. All right. Those dudes are going nowhere fast. Donald Driver. Driver! Buckle up, fellas. If you don't, it can cost you money or worse. Got that I told you. You were right. Click it or kick it. Together, we can save lives. Ruggability. We straight made that word up. How else to describe the otherwise indescribable, rugged, capable, incredible versatility and affordability of a Honda SUV? Kelly Blue Books KBB.com calls Honda the best value brand. Car and Driver calls Honda the winningest brand in 10 best history. But we like Ruggability. And you'll like the Incredifantabulous deals. So see your Wisconsin Heartland Honda dealer today. Honda gets Wisconsin. 
We went to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison last night. I don't really get how the jackpots work. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison actually has had multiple million dollar winners. There are linked progressive slot machines at the same casino where local players increase the jackpot amount. And a standalone progressive jackpot increases when a player plays on an individual machine that isn't linked to any other machine. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, more ways to win. Find your perfect jackpot. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. <laughs> Sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select road trims. These epic offers won't last forever. Tips to help you keep tabs on your service fees. Wednesday at 6. Finally tonight, a Florida man finds an unwelcomed guest in his toilet, of all places. Good mm -hmm. Lord. Now say hello. <laughs> it happened Friday when John Riddle noticed the bathroom door off his pool deck was still open, so when he went to close it, he saw an iguana sitting in the toilet. <laughs> Riddle says when the iguana went deeper into the toilet, he grabbed a nearby baby gate to keep it from sneaking out and running into his bedroom. Eventually, the lizard crawled out and dove into Riddle's pool before taking off into the backyard. Uh, Riddle says the iguana was not hurt and he hopes to never see it again. Just another day in Florida. Know, right? right? Oh Crazy things in the toilet and the pool. <laughs> oh man. Let's go to Julian, final check of the forecast. We're cooling down for the next couple of days, but the warmth will be right back as we get into the weekend. We're talking upper 70s by Saturday and then 80s for the foreseeable future. It's definitely gonna feel a whole lot like summer to kick off June, but we're looking at our best chance for storms later into the week. Well, Julian, thanks, and thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.